My first robot arm was in 2D. It had only two degrees of freedom and its movement was constrained to a plane. Now it's time to kick it up a degree. I added a new servo at the base, allowing the arm to move in 3D with three degrees of freedom. Control of the arm was based on vision from a camera in front of it. But now that the arm moves in 3D, we need two cameras and need to use stereo vision. Now the project gets more exciting! For the target, I added a fourth blue square. To avoid overlapping it with the others, the real target is two inches above it. I can move the target down. And I can move it back up. I can move it to the right. And to the left. I can move it to the front. And to the back. A combination of movements works as well. I can take the target by hand and push it in. And pull it out. Just like in my first 2D arm, I continue to track also when the robot itself moves. This is fun, isn't it? You can see the movement is quite jittery and not allowing blue squares to overlap is a strong limitation as well. So there is a lot of room for improvement in this software, which will be the main goal for phase 3. Thanks for watching.